finally going to be able oh there's a tiny calagrius right there um not sure not sure if i should start it off I'll, I'll probably skip it for now but finally back in the park and if you will if you've been with me for a while if you'll remember it like this park used to be littered with drops special event supply drops and, and now i see like one two three four there used to be like as far as the eye could see special event supply drops so just really shows the progression of the game and how things have changed from you had to go to parks to do special event supply drops in fact i don't even know how long it's been since i've been in this park but it's been a while and um it's kind of sad I, I i liked being able to go to one spot to get all of my weekly or daily dinosaurs at the same time i do appreciate that they are everywhere in the wild now so today wearing sunglasses not because i think i'm cool but because i'm not wearing a hat i just i just went with shower hair today completely crazy wild just like this is how it just comes out of the shower i don't I can't tell if you guys can see any detail or not, but this is this is straight out of the shower. No product, no nothing. Just I'm just gonna go today. But what I want to do for today is we have new scent capsules, and one thing that I really like about version 1.4 is what they are able to do with scent capsules. So the screen, it's so bright out here. <laughs> Here's the funny thing. Someone on MetaHub, and I can't remember who, posted that they didn't have to go to work or school or something today, but they weren't gonna be able to go out and play Jurassic World Alive because they had six inches of snow. And here I am wearing sunglasses, not a cloud in the sky, and uh, it's quite the contrast. There is no snow going on, and you know what? There's a duck doing something really bizarre let's see maybe maybe that's it right there can you see that he's got his its wings out like he's posturing and i don't know if he has broken wings or if he's looking for a little honey you know what i'm saying <laughs> anyway back to scent capsules i like that they are able to give you the option to attract a specific type of dinosaur. We had the first introduction to this was the Halloween scent capsule, which I picked up a handful of, and I'm saving those. But now we have the Raptor scent capsules. If we look at them, you have uh, like three more days to pick these up. And from what I understand, you can just hold on to them, I hope, because I picked up a handful that I just want to hold on to. The Raptor scent is synthesized with Blue's DNA to draw raptors from Owen Squad and other, apologize, I just can't read. It's too bright. Here we go. And I can't pronounce that word anyways. It's like Dromeo Saride towards you. It guarantees at least one rare encounter. So, there you go. You think of like, uh, Delta, Charlie, Echo, those are all rares. Utah Raptor is a rare. And then for the commons, you have Velociraptor. I don't know if Tanny Calagrius is considered a raptor. I, I, I feel like it's not, but I don't know that it's not. So I've already purchased a handful of these and I want to test it out. From what I understand, people are getting a lot, a lot, a lot of Velociraptor. And one thing that I want to pick out is I wanna head over towards that strike tower. So kinda of have to plan my, my path here. But what I wanna do is for research, my Velociraptor is at 253 DNA. So I'm gonna pop open this sink capsule and let's see how much Velociraptor DNA I end up with at the end of it. That's a good indication as to if it's worth it or not. I'm gonna activate this. I'll get a dinosaur raw off the bat, probably a Velociraptor, which is great. So I'm being dinged to move out of the way here. 
So here I go. Here I go, here I go, here I go again. So, Velociraptor is one of the easier dinosaurs to dart. It has a huge direct hit. That was, as I say that, I throw a whiff. But it has a huge direct hit. Really, I should find a place to put my camera down or plug it up in a tree or something, but it's gonna be a nice little total right there. So 276, that doubles what I had. I'm gonna continue walking and when something exciting happens, I'll come back. But at the end of this, I wanna see, do I have enough Velociraptor DNA to really make headway on getting my Endoraptor to level 24. So at the two minute mark here, and I got my first Delta Nice, my first rare spawn. And what I've noticed is that when you pop a scent capsule, so this time it was a rare class, other times I've done epics, your second spawn will be whatever you're supposed to get, your guarantee. So I got my rare at the 18 minute mark. On an epic capsule, I'll get uh, epic at the 18 minute mark, 192. I didn't even think I was doing that great, but keep that in mind. I definitely like to level up Delta a little bit more. I talked about Delta yesterday. The impact and run is pretty nice. Get you out of a lot of trouble. Especially because people right now are using bleeder dinosaurs a lot more than they were, you know, a month ago. So being able to swap out but not have to take the penalty of leaving a dino hung out to dry is always nice. 237. And uh, we're going to continue walking. Definitely going to have to fill up with darts. But... Um, 20 more seconds. Let's see what happens here. Now, because it took so long to dart the two dinosaurs from the previous spot, on my next spawn, I only received one. And I don't really know how to tell you to dart two but keep moving, unless you want to dart and walk at the same time. It's kind of hard to cover the distance you need to cover and dart two dinosaurs so if you if with like with this scent capsule the dna that's available the dna that i want so i'm definitely going to stop and dart both of them but that also means that i'm probably going to miss out on some potential spawns just because i don't move far enough to get my double spawns okay so i've run into the first problem with the scent capsule that i think is great actually but the problem that I've run into is the fact that without enough supply drops, I've run out of darts and I had to buy more. So on top of the 200 I spent on this capsule, I spent another 100 hard cash on getting darts. So that makes it kind of expensive. Make sure if you're going to do, let me get my hair there. If you're going to use these sink capsules, make sure you're somewhere that has an abundance of supply drops, unlike the park that I'm in now. Um, I will say that if you are looking for Velociraptor, this is 100% the way to go. And I would even say that don't use this capsule at night. Reason being, because raptors spawn at night naturally, you, um, you wanna get the most bang for your 20 minutes and if you're stopping to catch raptors that are out there naturally, you're not gonna get as much out of your scent capsule. And it took me so long to set up my camera for this last shot that you can see I didn't even get to move between my next to last and my last spawn points. But I think you're going to be astounded by the number of raptors DNA, uh, Velociraptor DNA that I picked up. And this isn't my best darting session, but most of them have been in the high 200s or low 300s. This one's probably gonna be close to upper. Oh, it's 300, so I guess it was better than I thought it was. But let's do the final total here. I think it's gonna show me that I basically got 
in the neighborhood of 3,700 Velociraptor DNA, which is only going to really be one fuse on Indoraptor, but that's because I already have my Indominus Rex. Now, realistically, am I going to get 80 here? No, but 30, which means that, you know, depending on how Indominus Rex DNA goes, I could be somewhere in the ballpark of like 5,000 Velociraptor DNA away from, honestly, it'd probably be like 5,500, 6,000, but that's two scent capsules. So, um, you know, if you're looking for a guaranteed way to buff up your Indoraptor, I would, this capsule's great. Uh, again, I would just recommend being somewhere where there are plenty of supply drops so that you can replenish your darts because you're going to use a lot of them. And additionally, I would uh, not do this at night, dawn, or dusk. I would, I would definitely use this as a day scent capsule. So there you go. Those are my thoughts. Uh, let me know, what do you guys think? Is it, is it worth the 200? I, I did receive a Delta, a Charlie, and two Utah Raptors. So four of the rare class, everything else was Velociraptor. And I pretty much got two spawns per, and I had at least one Velociraptor for every spawn. So that would be, I think you get what, 10 spawns out of that? So it's at least 20. <laughs> that's a lot of DNA for Velociraptors. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. So until next time.